Eric, welcome to the Lean Club launch video for the Art of Change, Patterns for Success, a modern interpretation of the I Ching. I was wondering if you could just take a moment to talk a little bit about yourself, uh, who you are and where you're from, and what your book is about and who it's for. Sure. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, it's a great honor and, and pleasure to be here. Uh, so I'm Eric, Eric Schoen, uh, based in Stockholm. Actually, right now I'm 30, 350 kilometers north of Stockholm in, in our summer house. Uh, so, um, back in the day I was, was a hacker, a uh, software engineer, a uh, system engineer, um, then moved into various manager and leadership roles and, and currently an executive, but I, I'd like to see myself as a practitioner of leadership, of strategy, of change. Uh, so that's the, the short story. I worked in small companies, big companies, you know, um, incumbents. Uh, so I have some, some experience of, 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 um, various ways of working and ways of changing and ways of doing strategy. Um, I'm, a father of two, um, also, uh, play table tennis, play some football. Uh, so, uh, you can, you can, uh, connect, uh, the, 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 the strategy of, of, of uh, and and the change matters of of eating uh, with uh, with the ways of, of playing table tennis, for instance, and and playing football, but of course also with with uh, with business, and that is uh, where I'm coming from with with uh, being a practitioner and try to get these timeless wisdom into into modern modern society and and see how it applies to us because we're still human beings, right? Yeah, no, it's really, uh, really interesting. Um, just to just to jump in there when you say sort of timeless wisdom. Um, you know, the I Ching goes back a long way, uh, but so does a sort of rel. I mean, gets political, but relatively continuous tradition of um, Chinese bureaucracy training as well that goes back two thousand years. Yeah, even more. I mean, the, yeah. the I Ching is is from I think it's three thousand years roughly. I mean, mm -hmm. the the the, the uh, academics uh, debate that, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and they've used it in, in, in training for, for civil servants uh, until very, very recently. So it's very much ingrained into Chinese thinking and Chinese actions and, and mm -hmm. ways of decisions and strategy. So, so it's really, really um, interesting from that, that angle. Yeah, and the book, the book is very beautiful um, and, and uh, uh, very deliberately so, which is a great um, a sort of pleasure to read. Um, and, uh, you know, every page has these sort of bits of wisdom in it, which... Um, are really great and just there's just one you know just to sort of pick pick one out of there um uh for for the sake of this short video um there's a page you have on conflict mm -hmm. um and um i I've, I've i haven't actually read the I Ching myself but i've read uh the art of war um and there were some sort of familiar concepts in there um and i was just wondering if we could talk a little bit about uh what your book has to say about conflict um you say things like um Conflicts are like war, exhausting time and capabilities. If disputes are prolonged, it harms all involved. And I was wondering if you could just take a little bit of a moment to talk about that and about conflict in the corporate or team context. Yeah. Uh, I mean, going back in time, uh, both to, to I Ching and, and the art of war, those were turbulent times, right? Uh, 10x or 100x what we experience. We think, you know, COVID and, and all the, the horrendous things happening in the world right now, it, it's, it's really terrible. But in, in what is now called China, it wasn't even China, it was the Warring States period. And, and even before that, they had several pandemics, that they had huge wars, you know, uh, for, for hundreds of years. So those were turbulent times for real. Uh, and that's why I think those, those patterns uh, that we can find in, you know, the, the I Ching, the, the art of war, and also the, the Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu, um, uh, with, with Tao Te Ching, uh, those are really, really interesting patterns. And I think those can, can help us forming first principles for change, for strategy, for leadership. And, and to your specific questions about conflict, uh, how much energy should you spend on conflict? I mean, should you take the conflict? Is it super important for you? Uh, is it something that you really, really want to do? Then you would like to change things, right? And, and that could enter, you could enter into a conflict, right? Uh, sometimes you would try to avoid the conflict because 
there's this thing called balance or timely balance in the I Ching, which is very, very interesting. You know, we all heard about yin and yang. It's, you know, it's not either or, it's both. And, and those concepts go like uh, in, in cycles. So you want to find this timely balance. Do you want to co a conflict? Do you want to, to compete? Or do you want to collaborate? Or do you want to co cooperate? So you always have a choice and it's a matter of timing when when you do it uh so so, so that's the the, the finger spitz and gefühl or, or or gut feel uh, if you will uh, and that's where it comes down to human beings i don't think uh, you know these these large language models <laughs> can can really uh, do what we can do as human beings because we are context aware we know our context we know the situation and we can have this gut feel uh when to take the conflict and when not to take the conflict and and sometimes uh, i think in the in the the chinese way of thinking you would try to go around the conflict rather than having the conflict uh and uh, i think that's that's you want you want to go with the flow so to speak uh and and go around the conflict if you can but if you really are in a conflict you want to keep it as short as possible because it takes a lot of energy on a personal level or on a team level or an organization level and even if if we talk about um war between between states uh then then it's it's human lives at stake right so so you really want to minimize that and i think that's something that i, I find common in in both the the art of war and in the Tao Te Ching and in the I Ching that that you really want to be effective in the sense you don't want to waste time you don't want to waste energy you don't want to waste people's lives you want to get to where you want to um, as quickly as possible with as little energy as possible which is pretty interesting yeah no that's that's really fascinating um uh, you know it reminds me of uh, I I've studied um Chinese martial arts for a few years uh, with traditional Chinese martial arts teacher, um, and um, you know, one of the one of the sort of main lessons there was, if you are going to fight, uh, yeah, exactly that, exactly what you said. Make it as short as possible, uh, expend the least energy, and ex understand that this is like a very serious thing that you're engaging in, um, and you're doing it for a reason. Uh, and it's it's sort of this so, so great to see there's or interesting to see this sort of connections between the sort of you know different forms of conflict and but the understanding the principle underneath it which is what your book is is sort of meant to be exploring and we've just picked this one sort of somewhat colorful example of conflict uh, out of out of the many different concepts that are addressed in the book uh which is um the art of change patterns for success a modern interpretation of the I Ching. so thank you very much eric for taking some time out of your beautiful evening and in, in sweden uh to talk to us uh, about your book sure uh, my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me.